There is a growing movement to separate the LGB from the TQ+. If I'm to be totally honest, a lot of this is because the LGB have gotten most of what we've wanted, which is the ability to integrate into society. The biggest thing being gay marriage. There are still a small handful of states that still allow for discrimination against LGBT, but we're almost there, or at least we were almost there. Since especially 2016, the TQ plus parts of the acronym have been all about trying to dismantle society rather than, you know, trying to reasonably integrate into society. I mean, I understand wanting some change, fine, but you can't just dismantle all this stuff. Our society is essentially a watered-down Christian society. There are ways that we view men and women in general. There are rules, there are roles, there are standards. Standards that we usually tend to follow. We're, we're not totally required to follow, you know, most of these standards. There is obviously the laws, but, you know... We have standards, and I'm not saying these standards and all these roles and rules are superior. I think we could do a lot better, but we live in the society we live in. You know, our society allows for some deviation from some of these things because we try to pride ourselves in being a tolerant society. You know, we are by far one of the most tolerant societies that have ever existed, especially on a large scale, and we were on a trajectory of becoming even more tolerant. Unfortunately, uh, mainly because of activism, extreme activism, activism that some people don't even think is extreme, but is actually extreme in contrast to the society we live in, we've reached a point where that tolerant part of society is starting to crack and in some cases is starting to actually break. Look, I believe in universal health care, cheap housing, a living wage, most unions, strong safety nets getting help to those with mental illnesses, legalizing most drugs while offering extensive programs to help people stop taking those drugs. I believe in healthy and reasonable anti-discrimination policies in the workplace and also towards customers. I believe in a whole bunch of left-leaning policies. But I do not believe in dismantling society. You know, for instance, I do not believe we should be trying to dismantle cis-heteronormativity. I don't think we should be nastily pushing against the religiosity of others. I mean, you only seem to do it with one religion. Now, doesn't it seem that way most of the time? I do not believe we should be trying to make people who are not statistically normal be viewed as if they're statistically normal. I don't think we should be pushing that something is genetic when there is no evidence that it's genetic. So anyway, there are parts of the LGB movement that is doing the hashtag LGB without the T. And I'm not a big fan of that, that hashtag. And, I, and if there are, I mean, I follow people who use that hashtag, but I'm not a fan of it. You know, I'm seeing a lot of mean-spiritedness in a lot of people who, who use that hashtag. I'm talking about people who will go around searching on Twitter or other places for anyone to say anything positive about trans people, and they, and they basically, you know, go off on them. There are people within the movement that I would honestly consider bullies. And most of all, the movement is very much conservative in nature. I'm not willing to give up my liberal or left-leaning principles. Since this whole split seems relatively new, I'm sure it'll go through many phases. Either way, you know, the, the parts that are pushing, you know, LGB without the T, yeah, they're wanting to view trans people in a negative light. It leaves a back door to hatred, and I'm not sure if I'm exactly that comfortable associating with that. You know, I'm okay with being considered part of the LGB movement, which is growing, but if it specifically says, you know, LGB without the T, eh, I just think I'm generally going to pass on that. That's essentially basing part of your identity on things that you dislike, or things that you're against. And I... I I don't like that very much. You know, there's, there have been so many anti-movements out there that, that have just sucked. When, when you base everything, when you base so much of something off of what you're against, I don't know, it doesn't, I mean, I'm sure I've done my fair share of that on this channel, but uh, um, I don't know. 
I'm just not comfortable with the whole LGB without the T movement. I, I would be okay if they just said LGB. I'm rambling. Thanks for watching.